வணக்கம் சென்னை அண்ட் ஐ வாம் வெல்கம் டு எவ்ரி ஒன் ஆஃப் யூ ஐ எம் வெரி ஹாப்பி டு இன்ஃபார்ம் யூ தட் மை கம்பெனி ஏபிசி ஃபிலிம்ஸ் இன்டர்நேஷனல் ஹேஸ் ப்ரொடியூஸ்ட் டாக்குமெண்ட்ரி ஆன் இந்தியன் மோட்டர் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சம் ஆஃப் தி அத்லீட்ஸ் ஆஃப் இந்தியன் மோட்டர் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் அ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் வி அட்டெம்டெட் டு டூ திஸ் கைட் ஆஃப் ஃபிலிம் விச் வாஸ் ப்ரைமரிலி பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த இந்தியன் ஸ்டோரிஸ் த ரீசன் வை ஐ டிட் திஸ் ஃபிலிம் வாஸ் lot of people and lot of younger generation when you talk they talk about louis hamilton they know about michael schumacher and all but if you dig down nobody knows what actually happened in india and how some of our uh, uh, heroes who did some great work in the racing track and other things their stories are not even known or not even heard of uh, they may be literature in papers or in books and other things but i thought uh, you know like this is a the opportunity for us to take some rich inspirational true stories of india and take it to the world and showcase in ott platforms uh, and say that you know we had a great culture indian uh, racers were one, some of the best racers and with limited resources they were able to deliver much better so because of this idea when i was seeing lot of ott platforms and other things that made me think that we need to do something on indian motor sports uh, so since i was uh, involved for my son's racing for more than 10 years in motor sports i found this as an opportunity Uh, to produce a film uh, and do it so i have written directed and produced this film called breaking the barriers india's race to glory this is not an historical film i don't call it as an historical pe- uh, film because we are we are not writing history or we are not telling history though we are touching upon the timelines but we are talking about the inspirational stories of people who had no resources who had no technology uh, there are so much of limitations in the early uh years and this web series we are planning to do it in four seasons and currently we have completed season 1 which is consisting of eight episodes and uh, a timeline of period starting from 1949 to 1989 is what we are trying to depict and i would also like to say one more thing is uh, for us every racer who was on the track or every person who is directly or indirectly involved in motor sports is a hero whether it is a mechanic or whether it is an uh, official a steward uh, to a medical car to the racer everybody is a hero but you know when you tell a story you can't tell everybody's story and everything so we have condensed it as much as possible and uh, now uh, recently i was discussing with uh, one of my very good friend who has a motor sports uh, facility in bangalore i would like to introduce ashok who is part of this uh, <coughs> company uh, big rock so i was talking to them saying that you know like uh, this is what we are doing and i have an idea that we should do a theatrical theatrical release this film is a documentary and a theatrical release you know like when we when we discuss this now the question comes in who will watch a documentary in a theater now uh, we know india is still not evolved to watch documentary on a theater but then uh, you know like uh, we said let's take something so we call it as limited theatrical release this is not going to be for one week or two shows or three shows it will be only one show in few cities in uh, india and then we'll see what we have to do overseas we are not sure as of now and uh, when i said this idea and discussed with big rock they said it's a great idea why don't you take it and uh, i'm thankful that uh, motor sports fraternity like big rock came to support us and help us in taking this dream to the theater and uh, the first uh, ticketed uh, special screening of theatrical show uh, is done uh, and uh, we were very happy that we are doing in uh, uh, chennai which is the mecca of motor sports in india and which has huge history and contribution to the uh, motor sports uh, and uh, i hope people will like it and uh, uh, we also got the sensor certificate as u which is uh, all age group can see this film there is absolutely inspirational film this is uh, i think you people should watch and let us know how you feel uh, this this will help the kids to think dream and take it forward so season 1 is 1949 to 1989 and uh, season 2 will be coming soon we have already filmed it and we will be going for uh, post production soon but before that why we have put it on hold is uh, first let us get this on a global platform uh, we will be also doing a world premiere of this film in uh, netherlands there is an international documentary festival happening in november we will uh, be doing a preview there a global uh, launch there and post that uh, once it finds a good 
uh, OTT platform, then we will uh, edit this uh, season 2. Season 3, season 4, all is planned, all is chopped out, what has to be happening and other things. Based on the response, based on the support, based on the uh, feedback from people, it will be improved and uh, we would like to do it. So that, that's the right thing. Uh, see, I'll, I'll tell you uh, shortly, uh, my son was into motorsports. He started at a very young age. Uh, and uh, I had done whatever best I can do to support him and he did really good. So as a father, I could see not only me, the other parents who are going through this because motorsports is an expensive game. You need some corporate backups. You need a lot of sponsors. Uh, and we need a lot of viewers also to come to the track and see. If these things happen, the whole ecosystem develops. Indians are really talented. Uh, and I think they can make it really big. Uh, the another reason why I decided to do this film is when I was in Europe for my son's race. People are thinking, oh, you guys race in India. What kind of racing you do types? A lot of people know, but the common man didn't know. So that triggered me that, you know, like there is so much of rich heritage and, you know, like with all difficulties, India has still done some fantastic thing. And uh, motorsports is considered as a rich man sport, which I don't believe at all because the athlete in motorsports requires much bigger fitness levels than any other sports also. So you need to treat it like a sport and uh, that is what is our thought. And it is my small attempt in whatever I could do because I come from an advertising background. When I saw this as a great opportunity to tell our Indian stories to the world, uh, so, so that I thought we should do it. And our uh, company ABC Films, the whole idea for us is to treat true Indian inspirational stories to the world. We will tell the other countries that how we are great why we are great and how we did with what our facilities. That's that.